Why did the fish blush? Because he saw the ocean's bottom. Don't touch the bo- Nemo! Touch the butt. Welcome to some more brand new cartoon Gartner Bam Bam creatures. If you enjoy this video and you want to see more like it, smack that like button and subscribe if you're new. <laughs> it's free. And I, yellow. And today we got three new ones. Coach Pickles, Melman, and the last cat. And we begin with Melman, the giraffe. Now something really strange about this fella is that he's, <laughs> he's got one black too. I guess he had a filling. Oh. He's also got, he's still got his belly mouth. Don't worry about that. There's a nice red tongue. He's got the cartoon gloves. And, and there's that, <laughs> there's the tail. It's like he's grabbing his own butt. <laughs> Now I, I almost forgot the whole pro. I, I almost forgot the whole the whole point of this. We, we gotta we gotta spill the ink. Caution could make you cartoon. We got the cat. We got the ink. Oh, can I break this? Oh, oh breakable? I don't know. It seems pretty sturdy to me. Now we're gonna pour it on, Melman. Oh, oh god, I'm missing. Is it working, Melman? <laughs> I've only done a little bit. <laughs> oh. He's cartoon up to the chin. Is that is that technically his chin? All right, this time I don't miss. Here we go. All right. Uh, oh, is he really gonna take three jars? Oh, look, just his stems. The final bit of ink should do the trick. We pour it straight in his mouth, and there we go. That's how you get him. There it is. Put your gloves on and looking cool. Now let's check him for violence. But first, let's let him walk around. What? Okay. <laughs> He does walk a little weird. Oh, if we lift him up. Oh, is he okay? Melvin, you all right, lad? <laughs> now, let's see if he's... Oh, he's only gone and teleported. Yeah, they can do that. Did I mention that? <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, why is he doing that? Oh, I've, I've never seen a neck do that before. You know how Cartoon Cat... Oh, he smacked me. You know how Cartoon Cat sticks his arms... <laughs> He sticks his arms out and does the wiggle. Well, Melvin can do it with his neck. <laughs> Melman, why? Mel, man, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? Uh, did I just see something I shouldn't have seen? I swear when he was walking a second ago, there was a red thing coming out of his butt. Ah! Uh, was it this? Did his tongue come around? Ah! Uh, Melman? Okay, so I've stolen his model so that we can see some of his moves. As you can see, the first move is a punch with the tail. It's so useful. He's technically got five arms. Another one is the R. Uh, what'd he do? Uh, he, he biting you? Look how skinny and long his neck is. Number two is a, it's just a headbutt. Full on. Maybe that's how he lost the tooth. Number three uh, is bites you with his chest. I think we've experienced that one. And the tongue definitely comes backwards. Look, wait for it. It comes in. It's so that he doesn't bite his own tongue. Smart. Here he is jumping. <laughs> Such elegance. this <laughs> dude. The run. Ah, oh, there it is. There's Frantic Frank. He gallops. He puts two foot down. Then the other two feet. The other hand goes up in the air, out the way. Tongue all over the place. And there's the squiggly neck. That might be my favorite run of all time. And whilst we've got him here, let's break his butt. Melman, you all right, lad? Oh, the tongue's come out. Uh, I wonder if we can put his, his belly tongue in his, in his belly. <laughs> Look, that's so creepy. I don't think there's any fixing this. We might have gone too far this time. Kind of looks like a little alien. All right, now for the fists. Actually, let's let him chase me first. Kind of hilarious. Ah, oh, when they're broken and chase you. <laughs> All right, now let's put him out of his misery. Uh, there we go. He's kind of dramatic. Oh, look at that. It looks like a monster by itself, like Mike Wazowski. I five. Our next creature to get turned into a cartoon is Coach Pickles. We're going to get some ink, and I have a feeling because Pickles is, well, a giant elephant, we might need a couple of bottles. Here we go. We're pouring it on. And only halfway. Uh, a bit more than half. Another bottle should do the trick. Drink up, lad, in your mouth. Oh, and there it is. Ink to spare. Coach Pickles, ladies and gentlemen. He seems to be a bit more vibey all of a sudden. He's, he's living the good life. He's got his gloves on. He's got white toenails, white ear holes, lovely little cartoon mouth. Smack him on the back of the head slash butt. The butt. Now let's let him kill me. Pickles. Now, because he's down there and I'm up here, can he teleport to me? Hello? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Or will I be able to use the effective move of land on his head? Oh, that's how you tame a beast. You could gradually just, you know, <laughs> sort him out from up here. But I do kind of want to tank some of his hits so we can experience them firsthand. What's he doing? He's trying to stand on me. He's whacking me with his trunk. You know what? It's like you would see in Africa. We got the giraffe, a wild one, and an elephant. Those live together, right? I think. Are they friends? They are friends, but I can change that with a press of a button. The battle has begun. Place your bets in the comments. Giraffe 
or elephant. Pause the video now. Don't you dare cheat. Don't you do it. I have my money's on the giraffe. I like the giraffe more. The giraffe is dead. <laughs> I think I cursed him. Is he okay? Is he dead? We might have to get a vet to check. I'm the vet. I'm checking. He's dead. All right. The elephant's kind of OP. Let's see uh, See how he likes it, huh? How do you like it? Yeah. Oh, we can go in his mouth. Oh, open up. Let me in. Let me in. Room for a little banana in there. I'm coming in. Oh. All right, now it's time to see Pickles' move. We got his walking. Attack number one. What? Oh, he just froze. A scare. The stomp. Number two is a kick in the face. And number three. Oh, he gonna slap you. He just clapped you. Oh, no. Here he is jumping. Oh, kind of like he's just doing a little jig. And the sprint. Oh, he's so happy. That's a happy elephant. Now let's break his bones. Can we make him handsome? Can we make him... Oh, handsome? I think. That's kind of handsome. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this oh, no. And I've just realized something. I have a magic ability. All these years I've been saying I can fix this, and I've never been able to. I don't know if I want to fix this, but... It turns out if I just right click, it fixes it. I'm a genius. To celebrate, let's hit an elephant off a cliff. There we go. <laughs> I'm coming. Our next creature to be cartoonified is the last cat. Another one of my favorites. And cartoon cats actually gonna have some competition. But first, we need to find out how much ink we need. Will a single bottle do it? I can imagine it would. There it is. Some to spare. We'll save that for later. All right, last cat, looking cool. Oh. It's <laughs> Oh, it's lost its tail. Did it have a tail? Am I imagining that? It did have a tail. What happened? I guess Jerry and the cat never had a tail. So just cartoon things. The main difference, I'd say, are the eyes and the mouth. And of course, the gloves. The eyes are kind of less cat-like. And the teeth are slightly less sharp. Also, he's got lips now. <laughs> and the ears. <laughs> Look at the ears. Why are they so wiggly? He's beautiful. Let's let him walk around. Very cartoon catty. It's like cartoon cat on all fours. From this angle, you'd be like, that's cartoon cat. Then you go around the front. What the hell is that? Let's see if it's mean. <laughs> yes. Can it teleport? Look how it runs. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Meow. <laughs> okay, enough. Please, stop it. I'm going to catch him this time. He's trying to clap. Is he clapping while he's running? Is that normal? Cats do that? I, I don't own a cat. I don't, I don't know what cats are supposed to do. I'm trying to pick it up. Ah, I got it. Oh, I fell. We're safe. All right. It's definitely clapping. Can I turn it off in time? I will just put it over there. Uh, it just tried to teleport. I need my fists. Ah, I got him. Okay, we're tanking. Look how it runs. Look how it dies. Oh, oh. <laughs> what have I done? Oh, oh. oh. oh what is, what's happening? Why is he like this? What's going on? This is amazing. <laughs> I just won't fall over. 10 out of 10 for death. So now let's take a look at its moves up close without having to die. We got its gallop. We can see it doesn't actually clap. It kind of runs a bit like the giraffe. Two at a time. And it's got four attacks. Attack number one is where it bites you on the head like this. It's very unpleasant. Attack number two. It hits you with his hands. Number three. The big bite. <laughs> that neck kind of long. And number four. You're just going to smack it. He just won't give you a little... Oh, on the... Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Wait, I'm choking. Help me. <laughs> Thanks, last cat. <laughs> and here he is jumping. Oh, what? Why? Oh, okay. And if you break his bones. Oh, all oh, the teeth have come out. Oh, no. Why were the teeth loose? Where? 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 Oh, it's like he's got brain worms. All right, we'll, we'll fix this so that we can. Oh, yeah. Back to this. <laughs> Why? So earlier we were able to see that Pickles was able to beat Melman. But can Pickles beat the last cat? There's only one way to find out and that's to make them duel. The cat is getting stomped on. But we don't know how tough the cat is. The cat is not very tough. The cat is already dead. Ah, uh, Pickles may be a little OP. But we can check that. Here's the three new fellas. And let's turn their health on. We can see Melman has 73,000 health. Pickles has 105,000. And the last cat only 35. No wonder he died so fast. Cheeky little free for all. Oh, we can see the damage. Oh, the elephant's doing about 10k per stomp. Oh, the cat's dead. Now the giraffe is next. Hey, they got him kind of close to death. Don't worry, last cat. I'll get him. Oh, clean. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? How about a little battle between the old cartoons? And these new ones. Uh, also, we got regular Gerald and buff Gerald. Just to give these guys a chance. Because I think they're going to die pretty quick. But let's see. But let's just see what happens. Someone's dying. Oh, banana. Banana. Come on, Gerald. You've got this. Can't tell what's going on. Does anyone know? 
Uh, look at them all. Look at them all running and wiggling. Uh, pretty sure. Oh, Buff Gerald's fighting the elephant. That's not good for him. Although, uh, Josh, what's going on? Bellman's after Gerald. Is he dead? Oh, no. He's dropped his bananas. He farted. He farted bananas. Ah, uh, I think they all got destroyed immediately. There's a lot of bodies. Not even close. I don't even think any of the Bam Bans died. Well, whilst I've got them all here, I might as well see if I can hide inside a house. Will I be safe? Only one way to... F oh, God, this is terrifying. Oh, I forgot they could teleport. The answer is no. <laughs> Ow! What's going on? Why those two were stuck on each other? Why did I release them? There's a bird in me house. It was the it was the appealer that killed me. Right, get out of my house. You're not a, you're banned. This time I'm hiding on the interior. Will I survive? Who will get me? Was it the bird again? <laughs> it was the bird. Ow! How did I just get yeeted up? Right, to the bridge. Now before I throw my new friends off a bridge, so that we can see who jumps the furthest, I'm gonna use this damage indicator. His name's Dan. And we're gonna see who hits the hardest. I have a feeling it'll probably be the elephant, but uh, Melman, you can go first. Use that big tail of yours. Three, two, one, smack. 5,080. I reckon the last cat can beat that. Look at him. Here he goes. He's tailless, but he's fearless. 7,070. He's in the lead. All right, Pickles. Do your thing, lad. Get over there. Can he do it? Oh, 12,250. Almost double last cat. Look at that little dude. And in case you were wondering if... And in case you were wondering if the elephant's now the strongest of them all, let's put it to the test. Flynn, you're up first. Can you beat 12,250? No, you can't. Appeal a bird. Oh, 8,590, but it's not enough. Joshua, here he comes. And smack, 16,000. Oh my gosh, Josh is in the lead. Look, look how he won. Oh, he can stand over here like a king. Fiddles, can you beat that? Arms outstretched. Smack. No, get to the loser side. Bamboline. Oh, frantic. And no, 4,740, which leaves only Ban Ban. And Ban Ban will do 8,560. Wait, no, this is Bambolina. I got confused. They look very similar. Doesn't matter. They both lost. Josh won. So I think you know what happens next. Josh has to fight the elephant. They both hit really hard. But who will die first? Let the battle commence. My money's on Josh. I reckon Josh has got this. He's got massive fists. I mean, the elephant's got big feet, but his fists are smaller. He's got a trunk. And Josh is dead. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm always wrong. I'm, <laughs> why am I always wrong? I guess the elephant's the strongest. But can he jump the furthest? Let's find out. And we start with Bambolina. We simply chuck her off the bridge. How will she do? High, hit the ceiling, and it's come straight down. It's definitely going to get beaten, but will it be by Ban Ban? Ban Jump, and Banjo. Oh, he's he's worse. Okay, Fiddles, use that tiny little body to your advantage. He's kind of slow. The jump. Ah, oh, wiggly legs. Is he making it? Oh, God, is he even making it? He, he did. Oh, just, he's in last place. Josh is up next. There he goes. Arms outstretched, doing the wiggle. Remember, if you ever need to jump off a bridge, wiggle your arms. Ah, it's good. He's made it to the little rock. He's in the lead, but can the appealer bird take over him? He's got no wings. Doesn't need him. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, and he's bounced off of Josh's head. But the rules state that if you bounce off someone, you're, you're, you're tied with them. Because that's how far you jumped. we got to take him back. So, Flynn, you have two people in first place to beat. I reckon you've got it, though. Got it in the bag. OP as ever. Oh, my gosh. He's made it to the little shrub. Oh, he's really in the lead. All right, Melman. We're on to the new ones. Oh, frantic Melman. Oh, he's so fast. Melman? He's hit the ceiling. And he's... <laughs> how? How does that happen, then? All right, Lazcat. You've got a trunk up your butt. But here we go. Look at him. Ah, he's kind of quick. He's not picking up uh, momentum like Malman did. It's a good high jump, though. Oh, oh, and he's jumped off of Josh. Why? They, the three of them have the same jump. Fascinating. And finally, the elephant pickles. How do you like them? Spicy. Oh, the jump is good. Is he going to hit the ceiling, though? Oh, he's not even beaten Flynn. I, I am truly speechless. In last place. <laughs> Captain Phil. In third was Pickles, second was Flynn, and a surprise winner with an insane run and jump is Melman. I think he might be my favorite too, but I am partial to the last cat. Let me know which is your favorite in the comments. Also, let me know what Bam Bans you want to see turned into cartoons next. And if you've enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe if you're new. <laughs> it's free, and I'm yellow.